So, Daily C at Dragon Trail Seaside. If you haven't raced here for a while or you are a rookie to this track, you are on the meta car, the Nissan GTR approaching the dead chicane, and this happens. You lose. Frustrating, but you have to keep going. And you try to do better next lap, but two laps later, again. And on the final lap, again. And that pain at the system is just awful. Well, there might be a solution or an alternative. So here I am with the BMW M6 endurance model of 2016. And as you saw on the title, I dare call him the Dead Chicken Whisperer. And you are going to find out why. We jump into this race on P5 on the medium tires. Remember, this is a race that requires you to go on the mediums and on the hards. The recommended strategy is 4 laps on hards, 6 laps on mediums, but that's up to you. Into the first chicane, and we have Moose racing on the McLaren going a little bit out. And so are we, so we gotta leave and let that Nissan GTR go by us. But here, he just loses and, well, sad days for him. There's, I don't know, things that happen, I guess. So now we are approaching the big S section, a fast flowing of corners that you can take at high speed. And here the McLaren apparently leaves a little bit not to go wide, which allow us to go side to side into the next hairpin. Now, we try to brake, we brake a little too much, and here Juice RLM Lexus takes advantage of that and takes the fifth position. We give it, so because we are approaching the chicane and we want to be careful. And here, look, we go just a little bit of oversteer, but we keep it under control. And that's something that you're going to notice a lot with this car. It's very stable on that curve, particularly on the dead chicane. And that's something that, that surprised me very much because I didn't think that this car would be that stable. We jump further into lap 2, we are approaching again the big S sections, trying to chase down Moose Racing on the McLaren, that again misses the second curve going wide and making him lose speed, which allows us again to go behind his tail and try to perform an overtake. We are on the braking zone and we couldn't quite get the move done so we take our time take a little bit of space going into the dead chicane again because you know you don't know what is gonna happen on that section again we go through here and the bmw again smooth most racing goes against the wall losing speed and allowing us to go side to side into this next braking zone and finally taking back that p5 And we jump into lap 3 again on the Dutch King, going smoothly through these corners and look at this, the BMW practically goes on the serve through these curves, I mean it's something that surprised me, it doesn't jump as much as a car like the Nissan GTR for example, that okay yes is the meta car, it's fast on acceleration, oh here we get a little bit excited with the accelerator almost losing it and here again on lap 4 check this out you can go pretty comfortable here you know a, a little tap on the wall but that doesn't make us lose, lose that much and as I was saying uh, maybe the Nissan GTR is the meta car but is uh, a little bit more unstable throughout this those curves you know and that's something that makes you less confident when you go through them and that's something that well, harms your driving you cannot go as fast as you may want and you cannot learn to, to go around this track as much as you want because maybe you are a little bit afraid but 
here we are on lap 5 uh, trying to chase down Long Beach Limbus again through this section he almost loses on the entry there but we are here smooth well a tap on the wall but we don't lose much again and that's also something that I like about this car that even if you smash that wall you don't lose that much it doesn't bounce that, that much on that wall and that's nice you know that's nice because it, it helps you with consistency that is very important in this race so we go further into lap six we are six lap on the medium tires the tires are half worn as you can see on the bottom of the screen and we almost almost go to have a chat with barrier but hopefully we manage to take it under control and we go again on this fast and deadly chicane but again the bmw going smoothly a little bit of a jump but the car is under control and that's something great you know it's like almost a relief and it helps you again and i'm going to mention this again it helps you to build confidence on this track you know and i think that that's very important if you are maybe starting on 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 sim racing or getting to know this track as i am now lap eight we are exiting the pits now on the hard tires as this race requires and we have well four seconds up ahead to the well, the next car that i believe is the yeah, juice rlm and behind we have the gtr of mid liveries that apparently is on the medium tires because he's approaching very fast at us but now here again on the chicane on the hard tires looking at this view the bmw going very very smoothly again even though we have pressure from behind from the nissan gtr of the brazilian we approach again this last hairpin and here we check that juice rlm has a penalty and that is something nice maybe we can capitalize on that but here now mid liveries had a better exit out of that last corner and he is going well not flying but he's going by us taking that fifth position out of us again the nissan gtr the meta car if you manage to dominate it well i think it's a car to go oh he almost lost it there but he carries on and so do we into this first sort of hairpin again the bmw very stable not just on the dead chicken curves but on all the curves on this circuit and again that's something important for consistency and trying to improve your lap times because in this track you are going to use the curves a lot to maximize the track width and also to maximize your also your, your exit speed for example uh, here we go into the braking zone take it a little bit again off the curves and into the dead chicane again chasing mid liveries with a well trying to keep it consistent trying to keep it smooth going here through the corner again the bmw well a little bit of tap but it helps you to control the car you know it doesn't get out of shape very easily and here juice rlm serves his penalty and we are now back into b5 and that's something nice this is a very tricky race for some people especially for me this time i struggle a lot and here we go one last time through the dead chicane oh it's it's beautiful because it's it allows you to go very very close and soon sometimes you don't know how you manage to do it but it it's nice you know it's it's very nice and i think that this car accomplishes that mm, feeling every single time if you if you manage to do it so end of this race we end up p5 just where we started which i consider a pretty nice result because this week is a very tricky combination for a lot of players i will assume you're gonna see a lot of that but here with the bmw we managed to keep consistent minimize errors and claim a top five a very well deserved top five for this week 
So there it was, I hope you can jump on that BMW, give it a try and enjoy driving around here, because at the end the idea is that you have fun and not get too much frustrated with this track, and I think the BMW M6 is a good option for that. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down here, if you know about other stable cars that can whisper and dominate the dead chicane, let me know in the comments below. This was Combi Driver, keep improving and having fun until the next race, goodbye!